Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn about fluent strings. These are the points that we are going to learn in this video. First of all, we will check what is fluent string in a theoretical way. Then we will understand what is the issues with the previous string methods uh, and how we can overcome with uh, these uh, issues with the fluent string. And uh, after that, we will understand this fluent string with an example. And at the last, I will ask you a question. You can attempt this question in the comment uh, in the comment box if you want. Now, the first question is, what is fluent string? So, fluent string is basically a chaining of the method, which uh, we cannot use the uh, previously in the Laravel. So, uh, when we are using uh, uh, any function on a string in the previously, then we can apply only one function at a time, right? But with the fluent string, you can apply the multiple methods or multiple functions over the string. Uh, in a chaining method right so now let's see uh, first of all what is the issue with the previous string then we will understand it with the example so i'm just gonna jump on a web.php so that i can uh, even we can use this fluent string in the controller method component view anywhere but i don't want to just waste my time to making the controller and all so let's just directly make a code here so let's say just write here hello and let's check where we can just get the output of it now you can see that we can just get string here so if you just want to remove that thing then this is uh, still okay you can do it otherwise uh, you can just uh, uh, make it uh, uncomment and uh, you can just check your output on the upper part only right so now let's understand with the issue so i have a method with the name of let's say data and uh, i have a string like uh, hi uh, let's learn Laravel, right? So I just want to some perform some operation on, on it. First of all, I just want to make a uh, first letter capital. Then uh, I just want to make them uh, in a camel case. Then I just want to remove this high with the hello and all. So first of all, let's see how we can do these things in the previous time before the fluent string, right? So just uh, import the string methods, string class here. So just use here, eliminate, support, then uh, str. This is a string class, the Laravel, you can use it uh, in anywhere, in controller, model, where, wherever you want, right? So now let's uh, just echo this dollar data and uh, you can check this output here. Now, first of all, I just want to make the first letter uh, uh, capital so that I'm just going to take a dollar variable, uh, dollar data and uh, just going to use here str colon colon uh, uc first, right? And just simply write here mm, dollar data, right? And now when I'm just going to refresh, you will find that now we have a capital H here, like this. That's okay. Now let's do the second thing. I just want to make, uh, just want to replace this hi with the hello, right? So just write here, uh, replace first and uh, just write here hi. I'm just going to put a capital hi because uh, now we have a capital hi, capital H after you see first. And uh, then um, just write here hello like this and make a comma. Now you can just see that we got here hello, let's learn Laravel. And let's apply one more thing here. So let's just make a camel case here. So just write here camel. And now you will find that we got this string in a camel case. Oh, okay, my bad. Just remove these two first parameters we don't need them like this right so now we have this old thing in a cam camel case so first letter is capital then small then capital and all right but this is actually a very ugly way it's like look like that uh, some beginners and fresher just uh, school student write this code this code so what we can do and it's also time taking but now we can just converting it in the camel uh, in the fluent string so you what you need to do just comment it all this code for a moment and just write here dollar data equal to str 
colon colon um, off off means we are going to apply this old method fluent string on which uh, string which is data and now just you can use this old string like this here just simply use so that uh, we can just uh, check it out in a old separate line and uh, it will just uh, easy to understand that's why I'm just putting them in the next line like this and just remove this one also and just put here camel right now let's uh, check it out the result of this string the result is still same so now this is a look like more professional and time saving so let's say we just want to apply the 20 or 30 method even so that we can just apply with that way and this is uh, we don't need to apply uh, we don't need to just uh, uh, reassign the value to the same variable and uh, uh, this is look like uh, more pro code right so that way you can use the fluent string if you still have any conf confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care